Hey everybody, it is cool get our G97 here, and since I am going, um, I decided to make this list because I am going to King's Dominion soon. I decided to make the top 10 roller coasters at King's Dominion, so this is going to be a cool list, and we're going to see which ones are the best. Number 10 is Avalanche. This is a, a fun bobsled coaster, and um, who doesn't love bobsled coasters? Bobsled coasters are just fun. They're fun, great for the family, um, and this is a cool run. I just really enjoy, like, the, the bobsled coasters. They give a cool element, and they're really fun, great for the family, so yeah. How could you not love the Avalanche? At number nine, we have Anaconda, the Aerodynamics Corkscrew Coaster. So a lot of people, will, they, they do not like this ride. Um, they think it sucks, but personally, um, I'm actually kind of, Really excited to ride it. Um, I, I don't think it's that bad. Um, I know that doesn't look that bad to me, and I might be proven wrong, but I still think it deserves a spot on the list. Um, I mean, aerodynamics corkscrew coasters um, aren't the best in the world, but some of them um, are still have a good thrill element to it. At number eight, we have the hurler. So this is a cool wooden coaster at King's Dominion, one of the three. Um, this coaster has also been getting kind of mixed reviews. Some say it's kind of rough. But, um, GCI, though, has made some pretty good wooden coasters. And I think, and, um, even though it's not the best, people still think that it's still good. Um, because it's got some good airtime hills. Um, it's a little on the shorter side, but it's still... A cool ride. You're going by the lake, and you have the trees around you. Oh, it's fun. Well, in my, it looks fun in my opinion. Number seven is the Backlot Stunt Coaster. This is an awesome family launch coaster. Um, it's really cool. It launches you straight into a helix that's going up, and that's really cool. Um, at a max of 43 miles per hour. Um, you're going through some little airtime hills, little overbank turns, and this is a great ramp family ride. This is an awesome ride for the family um, because it's got single launch, doesn't really go upside down. Good ride to get you in, another good ride to get you into coasters. This is a great ride for all for the whole family. It also has two launches. All right, at number six we have the next wooden coaster to make this list, and that is Grizzly. This is an amazing wooden GCI coaster. Um, you're going through the woods, and that's really cool. Um, it's themed to like the grizzly bear, and it's cool. Um, the only bad thing about that is that a little mid-course brake run. But besides all that, this is a cool ride. Um, it's got some nice airtime. Um, love the elements that it uses. It really, it really interacts with the terrain. It's a really cool ride. Okay, we have reached the top five. At number five is the last wooden coaster of the wooden coasters in the park, and that is Rebel Yell. This is the best, you can say this is the best wooden coaster in the park. Um, it's, you race, and that's really cool. People really like the racing part. Um, it's got some good airtime. In fact, that's mostly what this, all this coaster is. It's just airtime hill after airtime hill. Then it goes to that, that small little main course break run, not that big of a deal. And then you go again, airtime hill after airtime hill. It's a really cool ride. This is a really cool wooden coaster. Number four is Flight of Fear. This is another cool coaster that is up by Premier Rides at the park. Um, it's really cool. It's a dark ride. It has elements of dark ride. Really awesome theming. It's like things like it's aliens and stuff. And you're flying through four inversions in the park. It's, you're going around 55 miles per hour. You, go, you launch straight into a cobra roll. It's awesome. It's really cool. This is a great premier ride coaster. Oh, righty dighty. We are now at the top three. Number three is Dominator. This is a really cool B&M flawless coaster. It's really awesome. Um, you you start going up the lift hill, obviously, but then you you're doing some twisty sections first before you. You go, and then you come to the drop, and you fly through that massive loop, one of the tallest in the world. 
Oh, it stands out because it's bright yellow. And yeah, just is a really cool ride. And then right after that, you go, you fly into a bank turn and then do that massive cobra roll. It's an awesome roller coaster. Also, a great coaster for BNM lovers. Number two is the Volcano Blast Coaster. This is a very unique yet awesome ride. This is an Intamin launch coaster. It has two launches, one flying into an overbank turn, and the other one launching you out of a volcano after it's named for. Um, it's also, this is an Intamin inverted coaster, as you can see from the video, so that's really cool. Um, you're, and you go through crazy corkscrews, max speed of 70 miles per hour. Yeah, this is a really neat, but people love this coaster. This is an amazing coaster. Okay, we have reached the number one spot for those of you who, have, who know King's Dominion. You have already probably guessed it. Number one is the Mighty Intimidator 305. This is an amazing Intamin Giga Coaster. This is one of the two Intamin Giga Coasters. The, one is, the other one is Millennium Force. To be honest, I'd actually choose this one over Millennium Force because I just think this one looks a lot cooler. Don't get me wrong, but I have ridden Millennium Force. Uh, I just wrote it recently because for the summer. And don't give, it is a great coaster, but um, I just think this one is going to be, I just, I'm really more hyped for this one. This one looks really good. Um, this is an awesome coaster. Get out of here. Um, get some air times, um, little air time hills, lots of sharp overbank turns, 90 miles an hour, and that 85 degree drop. Heck, heck, even the lift hill is fun. So yeah, this is an awesome coaster. I am really excited to ride it. So thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you all in the next video. Peace out. Woohoo!